one best project from each of the 16 regions of Ghana. Ghana is a country in West Africa, officially known as the Republic of Ghana. It shares borders with the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east, and spans the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south. Ghana, which is rich in cocoa and other natural resources, is one of West Africa's most developed countries with several projects and infrastructure that have transformed the country's face and elevated it to the 21st century. Through a treaty signed in 2019, Ghana was divided into 16 areas, up from 10 previously. This was in response to the president's vow to establish greater governance. All of these regions are reliant on the central government, which governs the country as a whole. Africa Reloaded presents one of the top projects from each of Ghana's 16 regions in alphabetical order. As we take you on this journey of Ghana, please like, share, and subscribe. Ahafo Region The capital of this region is Goso. The Ahafo Region is divided into six districts and is bordered on the north by the Bono Region, the east by the Ashanti Region, the west by the Bono Region, and the south by the Western North Region. As this is one of the newly created zones, progress is slow. The development of a three-kilometer dual carriage road is the principal undertaking here. The project runs the length of the hospital road, from the regional capital single roundabout to the main road leading to Mim, a town famed for its timber processing industry. The contractor has been on and off the site for nearly five years with only approximately 30% of the work completed. Ashanti Region The Ashanti Region, with Komasi as its capital, is one of Ghana's most developed areas. In recent years, the Ashanti Region has benefited from a number of development projects. These projects are spread around the country, including Komasi, the Komasi International Conference Center, the Bonkra Inland Port, the Garden City Mall, the Calf New Maternity Block, and many other projects are among them. The expansion of the Komasi International Airport has been chosen as the Ashanti region's greatest project. This is one of the most awaited projects in the Ashanti region, and when completed, it will be Ghana's second international airport. This airport located in the city center will be able to handle more than a million passengers. The 2,300 meters long runway will enable the airport to handle large aircraft, such as Boeing 737. The 132.1 million US dollars project is being undertaken by Contracted Construction UK Limited. Bono East Region. The Ganyan region of Bono East was created from the Brong Ahafo area. Tekemin is the new region's capital. Among the numerous projects in this region, we chose the construction of the dual court buildings at Kindapong as our pick for a major project in this region, which includes farm service centers, greenhouse estate projects, Digia Agro Park Project, Ghana Rural Telephony and Digital Inclusion Program, GRT and DIP, and CyberLab. On April 19, 2019, a contract of 865,527 Ghana shillings were given for the construction of the court complex building, which was completed in November of last year. The municipal court and another court to be determined by the Chief Justice will be housed at the structure. The government's deliberate measures to ensure easy access to law courts for the improvement of the rule of law include the construction of the complex. Bono Region The Bono area is one of Ghana's 16 administrative regions. Sunyani serves as the regional capital. President Nana Akifer Addo stated in the region, there are 817 projects in progress, with 418 completed and 399 still active. There are 133 educational projects completed, 43 health projects completed, 23 road projects completed, and 128 water and sanitation projects completed. The airport rehabilitation project in Sunyani stands out as the greatest. Rehabilitation slash reconstruction and expansion of the existing runway, rehabilitation of the existing taxi link, rehabilitation and upgrade of the existing apron, resurfacing of internal roadways, 
and rehabilitation and remodeling of the existing terminal are all included in the scope of work. The rehabilitation project's goal is to ensure that the airport's infrastructure and services satisfy all international safety and security standards, among other things. Central Region at Dunkwa on Often in the Central Region, a youth resource center will promote sporting activities and youth development. The project, which began in May last year and was due to be completed in nine months, is currently around 40% complete and the contractor have requested an extension, an ultra-modern sports stadium. It has a FIFA standard pitch with a seating capacity of 6,000 people as well as a multi-purpose stadium with a playing field for over seven different sports, an ICT center, a canteen, a counseling center, a restaurant, and indoor games facilities are all part of the complex. Eastern Region The Akasambo Dam project is the best project in this region, and also in Ghana. This dam generates hydroelectric power that is supplied to the whole country and other neighboring countries such as Togo and Benin. The Akasambo Dam, also known as the Volta Dam, is a hydroelectric dam on the Volta River in the Akasambo Gorge in southeastern Ghana. It is operated by the Volta River Authority. Greater Accra Region This is the capital of the country. Thus, there are so many projects to choose from. We have settled on the Tema, Impacadan Railway Project. FCON's Infrastructure Limited is the contractor of the 97 kilometers Tema, Impacadan Railway. The project is part of Ghana's bigger plan to connect to its northern neighbor Burkina Faso by railway and to boast the economy of West Africa and the sub-region. Upon completions, it will facilitate the transfer of goods from the Tema port in Pakadin to be ferried via the Volta Lake to the northern part of the country. This will increase socio-economic development and increase trade not only in this region, but in the entire country. Northeast Region Found in the upper part of Ghana, this region is bordered to the north by Burkina Faso and to the east by Togo. The Nalari Water Supply Project is the major project of this region. This project is 4,932,000 cities projects supply water to Nin communities, which are Nalari, Whalewhale, Wangu, Jibinzi, Gembaga, Nanar, Chiriponi, and Saboba. During the inauguration of the project, President Nana Ekoffer said this project will help guarantee and improve water supply in terms of quality and quantity and eliminate waterborne diseases such as cholera, dysentery. Northern Region The Tamil Interchange is currently the best project in this region. This interchange is the first to be constructed in the northern part of the country has been open to traffic. This structure dedicated to the memory of the founder of the Mole slash Dagbin Kingdom, Najibiwa, is expected to ease traffic and facelift the metropolis. This interchange links the road from the Dakbama Palace through the Point 7 Road, the Central Taxi Rand, and the Central Market intersection to the Sakasaka Road. Odi Region in this region, the food processing factories under the One District One Factory Initiative is the major project. Because the Odi region is primarily agricultural, with yams and cassava being the principal food crops, the government determined that such a corporation was required. According to the firm's technical and operations director, Fred Darko, the company will use the Oi region's large yam and cassava production potential as a source of raw materials. It is expected that the company will produce up to 800 tubers every day. This will boost the region's agricultural as well as the region's and country's overall standards of living. Savannah Region The Savannah Region is one of Ghana's newest regions, but it is also the country's largest. The principal project in this region is the Salaga Water Supply Project. The Salaga Water Project included the rehabilitation of two steel elevated tanks, the construction of 21 standpipes, the installation of 10 storage tanks in Salaga, Pimbai, and Masaka, and the replacement of the old treated water transmission pipelines. 
The project also included the rehabilitation of two quarters for Ghana Water Company Limited employees in Salaga, as well as the installation of a new 100 kVA transformer and a new booster station to transport water from the new concrete underground tank at Quanta Junction to the new GRP tank at Cape Hemp. This project ensures safe and indisputable supply of water to the indigenes of the Savannah region. Upper East Region The Upper East Region is the smallest of Ghana's 16 administrative regions, located in North Ghana. The Tono Irrigation DM Restoration Project is the primary project here. The retaining walls, irrigation canals, dam bottom, laterals, and other components of the 1975 structure were all rebuilt as part of this project. The water reservoirs spillway and spillway were also renovated. Water will be available for irrigation of 2,490 hectares of rice fields and vegetable plantations in the settlements of Hesinan, Nankana, and Bilsa following the recommissioning of the Tono Dam, four kilometers long. The new drinking water facility in Ghana will be supplied by an intake from the Tono Multipurpose Dam. Tono's plant has the capacity to treat 20,500 meters cube of water per day. Upper West Region. The capital of this region is Wa. The Upper West Regional Hospital is the principal project in this area. Eurogift to Invest, an Egyptian business, funded the construction of this $52 million, 160-bed hospital, which began in 2014. President Ekofo Addo emphasized the importance of project continuity when commissioning the project, stating that it is one of the reasons why Ghana is a desirable investment location. The hospital included numerous departments, including an administration, outpatient department, physiotherapy unit, radiography laboratory, medical justice production unit, maternal and children's health unit, morgue, staff eating, maintenance department, power station, and a 20-person housing unit. Its goal is to offer the community, country, and Africa with effective and cheap health care. Volta Region. The Volta Region, with Ho as its headquarters, is one of Ghana's 16 administrative regions. It lies west of the Republic of Togo and east of Lake Volta. Our preferred option is the Hoho Ashburn Road project, a once disgusting road in the area that made driving difficult. Residents of Hoho have expressed their delight at the construction work, now underway on areas of local roads. Because Hoho Town is a commercial center and a key player in the region's socioeconomic growth, there was a pressing need to enhance the road infrastructure. Western North Region The Western North Region is one of six new Ghanaian regions established in 2019. The capital of this region is Wyoso. The Bayer River Bridge Project is the most important and major project in this region. The Western North Region is now undergoing this project. This is a high-end project that will make crossing the Bayer River in the region more easier. It will not only make mobility easier, but it will also reduce floods along the river. Western Region The Western Region, which stretches from the Ivory Coast to the Central Region in the east, comprises the capital and huge twin city of Sekondi Takarati on the coast, coastal Aksum, and a rugged inland territory that includes Alubo. The Takarati Interchange is the best of the several projects in this region. The project entails building an interchange at the Pa Grant Roundabout and widening the 17-kilometer Esapong Seku Junction Bypass to make it a multi-lane dual carriageway. The project will be a three-tier interchange with direct access to the Central Business Center, a previously congested region, and will take 30 months to complete. As a result, the interchange is projected to improve traffic flow in the Sekondi Takarati metropolitan area, while also providing a smooth connectivity to villages, cities, and other regions of the Western region. Each of Ghana's 16 districts has a number of large and stunning projects. These are just a few that stuck out to us. Thank you for taking the time to view this video all the way through. For more updates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded.